Hello, welcome back to another Normal Oma server episode, the LP episode 2. Um, just chopping down some trees, I wanted to say that I have been doing a little bit of work. I moved away from the temp house. I did make the dual cave spider spawner, and uh, but I am... Um, in England and the server is American hosted I'm pretty sure so um, yeah the lag was too bad to even use it so I couldn't do a lot moved over to this new area made so far I've done this I'm gonna make a, a big tower kind of thing so um, I would like some feedback on if you have any ideas on what I could do with that I have got a vague idea but not very big idea at all it will be a big build definitely so yep the base for now is a little cobblestone house underground little bunker all the stuff I need it actually looks quite nice um, got wheat farm down here this is where the portal is gonna go um, Got my furnaces, we'll need a lot of stone. Uh, my mob grinder isn't working. Hmm. Because uh, dark room traps got nerfed in 1.3. Is it a dark room trap? Or from a spawner? Might have to help him with that if we need. Oh, yeah, might have to help him if we can. Uh, yeah, they. I built one on another server. They are not very good. Um. Ooh, no Fred. It's nice, right? Uh, in one point three. Yeah. Play some land as well, because uh, say I've got a massive mob trap. Say that's a big mob trap. And I've got all the caves lit, uh, lit up because it's night. See, mobs will spawn on here still, so that'll reduce a lot of your rates, which is not very good. Uh, see, see what I mean with some of the lag? It's just it's bearable, but you know. I'll put, yeah, right. I'll be back when I'm doing something interesting. Okay, so. I'm thinking my plan for the episode is going to be uh, just a bit of building. You know, the last thing I'm most focused on at the moment is the is the uh, the build. So I'll probably be doing a bit of that. Uh, I'll see you when I get started on it. Hello again, I'm back and I've made some progress on the door, on the entrance. Um, there's some furnaces, half slabs on the floor, it looks really clean, nice looking. Uh, so this might be the floor, the main pathway look for most of the build. I'm not sure how it's going to pan out, but yeah, that's what I'm planning for the floor anyways. Uh, the door, I'm probably going to change this as well. I want to make uh, more of an arch shape. So, probably see how that turns out and then we'll be back. Okay, I'm happy with this design. Um, what have I got? F3. Um, it's more subtle. I said I was going to do an arch, but it, it didn't look right. Still looks good from the inside though. Um, 
It's a bit of a box, but at the same time, it's not really. You know, it's in a box shape, but you couldn't really call it a, just a plain old box, which is nice. Not sure what to do here. I might do, um, like a. Hmm, not really sure. I'll, I'll think about it and I'll be back. Right, I have plenty of food, so I've come to the donation room and dropped up some bread and melons for people to take, take freely, to take one of each, you know, depending on what you fancy. Okay, so uh, I've come back here and Namalama has finished my nether rail. Not sure why that doesn't work. There you go. Oh yeah, it's in a pretty compact space, so it's hard to make it very uh, well made. But it did a good job. Happy with it. Oh, yeah. Coming up to my n little nether house I've made. I died uh, um, when I was making the dual cave spider XP form. I died a lot because because I was well, I lagged so much on the spider on the server. So I really, I can't even hit the cave spiders. So that's about it for now, I think. Right then, I've been getting to work on build, um, putting a pathway all the way round. Oh, um, yeah, I'll, I really do like this floor. It looks really clean and nice, but it takes a lot of cobble. See, there's these are all furnaces. One of one of these blocks needs eight cobble. And considering how many there are, got to think how much that is. And I'm saving on the half slabs though. I'm using one for each one of these, putting it upside down and I know mobs will mobs can spawn on it, I'm just doing it to save cobble. Um with this in the centre this is going to be a big tower. So yeah, it will be a big tower trust me. And this right here will be the door from my latest redstone episode. Uh, pretty much gonna be two stone blocks coming up from the floor, come back down is very quick, very nice. Cleared out some space for that. Oh, as you can see. Let's get back up. So yeah, I'm starting to put up a wall as well. Not sure how that's going to pan out, but that I'll, I'll be back when I've made some progress. As I've made. Quite a nice reed farm. This is most uh, compact for the most reeds you can plant. Um, yep. Two spaces forward, one to the left, or the right rather. And uh, yeah, you can put reeds on every space apart from the water, obviously. Just put lily pads on top of it. Looks good. I've also been rounding up some animals, breeding them, uh, everything I need in here. I might just uh, break the pen and let them wild once I've got a big supply. So I'll have animals everywhere, which would be nice. Keep farms in the, uh, in, the, in the proper base when I've got things set up. Okay, that's about it for the video. I'm doing about 10 minute long episodes due to my bad internet speeds. I'm just going to show you what I've got from the strip mine so far and general caving. Not a lot of coal I've been using all for smelting stone. Uh, but yeah that's about it for the video. Thank you for watching. This is this has been episode two. I'll see you next time.